Hi, my name is Peter Martin Kumelu, the Acting Director, Compliance and Enforcement, Communications Authority of Kenya. Um, compliance and Enforcement is about um, ensuring higher standards of services to our consumers. And uh, this we do by ensuring that our ICT licensees uh, comply to the license conditions. The license conditions are uh, specifically uh, made to ensure that the quality that uh, the services are provided is assured. The key mandates of the authorities is to ensure that consumers get the highest quality of service. And for this to be done, we need to monitor all the services being uh, provided to uh, ensure that uh, they are aligned or they supersede the quality as stipulated in the license conditions. The compliance uh, process begins once the license has been issued. The license comes with license terms and conditions. And uh, once uh, an entity has been issued a license by the Communications Authority of Kenya for telecommunication, for radio communication, for broadcasting, or for uh, postal and courier services, um, our role begins by ensuring that the entities are, are adhering, adhering to, the, to the license conditions. So to do this, um, the compliance process has three aspects. The first aspect is uh, compliance to uh, documentary conditions. That is the necessary condition that uh, the licensee is supposed to submit each and every year. Uh, compliance to operational parameters. How are they operating? Do they put have they put the necessary infrastructure to give the best of services? And compliance to financial obligations. The license comes with obligations for license fees and for USF uh, contributions. Uh, the license is supposed to one uh, submit documentary evidences that uh, uh, pertains to tax compliance certificate, a certificate of CR12 sharing sharing the shareholding, and. Uh, uh, the compliance returns form duly really completed. They are also sub supposed to submit uh, evidence that they have paid the necessary fees. They are supposed to submit evidence that they are operational and the operations that they are doing are complying to the set standards. To the licensees, if you don't comply, if you don't submit uh, the compliance returns, you are contravening the license and it may lead to the cancellation of your license. Now today, consumers when you deal with an ICT licensee who has not complied, the service provision is not assured. There is no assurance that that person has put the necessary infrastructure to be give you the best of service. So it is as a risk for you to continue dealing with such a person. For all our consumers, for the general public, any ICT service provider who is providing service should show you uh, also display the compliance certificates duly signed by the authority. These are a, a, a document that's issued yearly and uh, so he, the, the service provider should be able to show you a recent compliance certificate. That is gives you a level of assurance that you're dealing with the right person. The first quarter of, this, of the current financial year 2023-2024 uh, is ending today 30th of September. All the licenses have uh, a maximum of 15 days through, uh, during which they are supposed to comply and submit their compliance returns. Uh, the compliance returns forms are on our website www.ca.go.ke. When you log there, you'll be able to see the appropriate compliance set, uh, return form for you. Kindly go there, download it, and complete and send it to us before the deadline. <music>